working as project manager for Yokmok municipality. Uh, and we are working with something that's called Yokmok Winter Conference, and most of you know that because they are you are participants in the conference. Um, and we are very happy um, to cooperate with Valorant that they will have this event tonight. Um, and um, forests is really an important issue if it comes to environment protection, if it comes to um, all these things we are talking about uh, on environment. Forest is one of the most important environment areas. That we have. It is impressive what a kind of feeling you get for forests. Um, and that is very much thanks to the photographer. And we are happy uh, that we could, uh, that you both are now here living in the north and enriching our, our mental environment with your pictures, with your enlightenment. And These places are majestic, and uh, so uh, what uh, I would like to talk to you about this evening, um, it's uh, more a story than a, a project, as I told you before. Uh, it's the story of two eccentric, particular persons who uh, moved from uh, a place that maybe in the minds of uh, many people is a kind of paradise, which is to Toscana, uh, in the center of Italy. And we decided to move up here uh, and to change completely life, uh, starting a company, a publishing company. Uh, it was something that we have done uh, for more than 10 years uh, in Italy. And uh, to concentrate our efforts in the direction of the nature, the, we could say the nature at uh, its best level and uh, this is nature at its best level. But, uh, it's the author of these uh, pictures and uh, 30 years ago, uh, so maybe I don't know how many people 30 years ago know, knew about uh, Norbotten and uh, these uh, lonely places. This first uh, feeling, this first uh, love at first sight, we could call it, um, he came back almost every year to photograph these places. Uh, like a kind of, I call it a recall of uh, an archetype of wilderness, of wild nature, of uh, uh, the essence maybe of life uh, that, still, uh, that still lies uh, at the bottom of every one of us. And uh, so I follow, I follow, I am uh, Andrea's uh, partner also in life and uh, we, together we run this company, I am an editor and also a creative director. So um, the creativity is a very important part of this, uh, of our company, it's the base of it, we could say. Uh, so uh, the intuition, the idea starts the project uh, and then it follows uh, the rest of the journey, so we it's the, the, one of the most interesting is the uh, choice of the authors and the collaborators of the project. So this is the way uh, in which uh, it uh, was born the wild forests of Norbotten. As uh, when we moved here, uh, definitely, uh, because we bought the house uh, uh, about in 2008, and then we decided to, yes, to start this second life, as I used to say, in. Uh, one year ago, more or less, one year ago. And uh, uh, so when uh, we have uh, moved here, 
uh, it was the International Year of Forests uh, last year, you know, uh, 2008. Uh, che è eccezionale, però quando io 30 anni fa sono arrivato da queste parti e mi sono visto questi scenari incredibili, sono rimasto perché nessuno parlava di queste meraviglie nel resto del mondo. Quando more than 30 years ago he arrived in Syria, he was of course amazed from questi scenari e questi scenari meravigliosi, ma erano così conosciuti internazionalmente, quindi era un po' curioso di sapere perché.